New video you'll see only tonight on Fox 35 News. Okay, did you kick that door open? No. No, hell no. Your blood's all over the inside of the house. You scared, <laughs> you scared these people half to death. A home intruder picks the wrong house. I'm not letting anybody have that power over me. I'm not going to be afraid. A fiery Central Florida woman fought him off with a weapon from her nightstand. Now, a sign from a higher power that his life was meant to be spared. The good Lord was looking down on him. And we first told you about this story about five months ago. That woman from Ocala fought off a home intruder with a wooden mallet. And now we have the body cam video that shows the moments when officers arrived on the scene. Good evening. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. The first thing officers saw was that suspect crying on the front lawn. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie has the video you will only see right here. That body cam footage is an hour and a half long. It starts with deputies arriving on scene and ends with the suspect being arrested the entire time saying he didn't do anything wrong. A Marion County Sheriff's deputy. Let me see everyone's hands. Pulling up June 11th to this home on Southwest Rainbow Lakes Boulevard. <laughs> The deputy's body cam shows a few bewildered people standing around as a bloodied man lays whimpering on the grass. Buddy, can you talk to me? That's Robin Rivera, the 42-year-old, accused of kicking down Tracy and Taylor Mitchell's front door, getting into the house and lunging at the couple. The Mitchells fought back. Okay. I'm going to get you checked out. Taylor Mitchell armed with a shotgun and Tracy Mitchell I don't know if you need this grabbing this wooden mallet to fight back against their intruder. He tried to take the gun. I, I hit him with, I grabbed this off of the uh, nightstand. I keep it there. I've always kept it there. It hit him in the, um, I hit, I got him in the head. Five months later. Every time I dust, I drop that and it's on my toe and I'm always, I'm yelling at my husband. I'm like, I am so tired of this. <laughs> what do you what have this for? Get rid of this. Throw it out. And he's like, that might come in handy one of these days. Just, Mitchell showing us the mallet that did, solid. in fact, come it's in solid. handy during it's a solid. terrifying incident. It was scary. I didn't sleep for a couple weeks. I would pace the floor any little sound. I was like, oh, my God, what's that? What's that? Scared no more. Mitchell says they've got cameras and the shotgun within arm's reach. Their trusty wooden thrift store find also at the ready. This guy's a little zonked out of it, um, and he also got the tar beat out of him with a, a wooden mallet hammer thing. That night, Rivera reportedly thought he was at his mother-in-law's house, albeit bloody and bruised. Looking back, the Mitchells just thankful Rivera was able to walk out of their home. You don't want to kill somebody. You know, everybody said, why didn't you shoot him? Why didn't you shoot him? It's easier said than done to take somebody's life, I think, for us anyway. The couple unsure what kept them from pulling the trigger until a few days later. I kept it here. Mitchell finding this gold ring with Jesus on the cross under her kitchen table. It must have fallen off during the struggle, she says. Her goal now? I want to be able to hand that ring to him. She wants to see Rivera's face when he gets it back. Maybe that would be a reminder to him that his life was saved that night. The good Lord was looking down on him. Rivera is charged with one count of burglary of a dwelling with battery. That's a felony offense. He has pled not guilty and a trial date has been scheduled for February 26th. The Mitchells say they will be there with ring in hand. Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News.